Welcome to the tutorial for Rayface, a markerless facial motion capture tool. System requirements for this tool are Windows operating system, webcam connected to the computer with 30 FPS video recording support, Blender software, and 3D character. This tool consists of two programs. First Airface software and the second Airface Blender add-on. The software will track face and extract animation data. Add-on file will retarget those animations to your character. For this, your character must have required shape keys and bones. All shape keys are not mandatory, but the more you will have the more good it will look. Eyes can be rigged with bones or you can use shape keys for them too. Let's begin with AI face software first. From the bottom left corner, you can choose which camera to use if your system is connected to multiple camera devices. The software will start tracking your head and eye motions. On the top right corner, you can use smoothness sliders to reduce noise in the output and shift sliders to shift the default rotation values. Now to track facial expressions, you first need to capture the neutral pose of your face. Keep your face neutral and head straight. And then click on neutral button. Stay in the same pose for the next 3 seconds. You will see the timer on top of the window. You can use the neutral button again to update the neutral pose. Once a neutral pose is captured, you need to capture each neutral pose. Just give expression and click on the C button. You can use the R button to reset each extreme pose. It is not mandatory to capture all extreme poses. But the extreme poses you will capture will only be tracked in your final output. Here as well you can use smoothness sliders to reduce noise. On the strength panel, you will see strength sliders. Those sliders will just act as multiple to final output. You can play with those to adjust output. Finally face calibration is done. Now you can save all of these settings to use in the future as well. Just enter name for profile and hit save button. You can choose your saved profiles from the select profile drop down. After all these settings you can choose to record facial animation data. If you just want head and eye animations to reflect in your final animations, face calibration is not needed at all. To record facial animations there are two methods provided. The first one is to record data in the software itself and then retargeting those animations to your character in a blender. The second way is to stream data directly to the blender and record animations there. The second way is experimental and it may crash blender sometime. First, let's understand how to record animations in the software itself. Enter a location to save the data file. Use the given button to open File Explorer from there. Copy folder location and paste it in the input field. Then enter a name for a data file. Now just hit the record button to start recording animations. After the recording is done, use the same button to stop recording. Now open Blender. If you have not installed AI Face Add-on, install it by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-on. If you have a previous version of the AI Face Add-on, uninstall it first. Then hit the Install button, select Provided Python file and activate the add-on by checking the checkbox just in front of it. You will see the AI Face panel on the right sidebar. Select the data file that we just have generated. Enter the mesh name which is those shape keys. If you don't want to animate shape keys and just want to animate head and eyes, then don't select any mesh. Then select the armature of your character. Here as well if you don't want any head animations. Don't select any armature. Now tick the checkbox if you are using bones for eyes. Then enter the neck bone name. Right and left eye bone names if you are using bones for eyes.
Now select the proper axis for bones rotations. As for the neck look down axis, if you rotate neck bone down and in inspector if rotation value of bone is plus 15 on X, then we will select plus X for a look down axis. Same for other axes. Once all axes are set properly, just click on the Assign Animation button. You can position your slider on the timeline from where you want your animation to start. Now for the second method of animation recording, open AI face again and click on the stream button. Now you can use the window button to convert software from full screen to windowed mode. Use the full screen button to toggle the full screen again. Open Blender. Enter all input fields except for the data file. Then hit connect button. Now set the cursor on a timeline from where you want to begin recording then hit the record button. It will start recording animations. Use the same button to stop recording. This video is recorded on an i3 6th gen laptop with no GPU so you may see loafs on streaming option but it works perfectly fine on higher end systems. Also, if you are on low specs machine, use the first way to record animations it will work perfectly fine.